Hi, Mom and Dad. Bobby and Papa. Um, thank you guys for coming. I would not be here today if it wasn't for you guys. And yeah, I appreciate you. Love you. Hi, Mom and Dad. Thank you for all the love and support these past four years. I definitely could have made it without you. Thank you. We would like to thank Mom and Dad, family, friends, ISOs, and Brandy. I want to thank Amanda, Mason, Dad, and Ashley for all the support over the past four years. Uh, I just want to thank Mom and Dad for always being there and for supporting me. Love you guys. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for paying the bill to my great friends and the bars in downtown Westfield. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for everything. Love you. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all the love and support throughout my college career. Love you. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all the love and support throughout my college career. And Dad, I love you. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Thanks for everything, Mom and Dad. You've been my greatest support over these last four years. Love you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything. Uh, your impact on my success is far greater than you will ever know. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything that you've done for me. And thank you for being my biggest supporters. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for getting me to be who I am today. Thank you to my Mom and Nana for being my best friends, my number one support, and the rest of my family for supporting me through my whole journey. To my Mom and Dad, thank you so much for this opportunity and allowing me to get here where I am today and supporting me the whole time. It means more than you know. We love you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for all the support and love you've given me through my college experience. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and my family for all the love and support you've given me through the years. Thank you to my family for everything you've done for me. I love you. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all the support these past four years. I love you so much. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and everyone else who's helped me through these four years. It's been great. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all your love and support. Wouldn't be here without you. And thank you, Kristen. Thank you all mean the world to me. Thanks again. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all your support. Thank you, Mom, for everything you've always done for me. I love you so much. Thanks for everything, Mom and Dad. From ambassadors to our families. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. I want to say thank you so much and everyone in my family. Love you guys. Thank you to my Mom and Dad. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thanks, Mom, for always supporting and believing in me. Love you. Hi, Mom and Turtle. Thank you so much for being there and supporting me through college. I love you. Thank you all for always believing in me, Mom and Dad. Love you. First and foremost, I want to thank God. Mom, thank you so much for being by my side throughout my entire journey. And Trio, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you, Mom, for supporting me. Thank you, Grandpa. Le quiero dar gracias a Dios y a mi mamá por ayudarme mucho. Te amo mucho. I love you guys. I want to thank Alma and Marilyn and my boyfriend that's out on deployment. I love you so much. Come home safe. Love you. Thank God and thank my, thank my family. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for putting me through college and always believing in me. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I wouldn't be here without you. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I love you guys. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for supporting me. I love you guys. And uh, thank you, Sean and Aaron, and uh, April, my dog. I love you. I want to thank my mom, my dad, Joe, Mike, uh, communication department. I love you all. Thank you so much. I would like to thank my mom and dad. I couldn't do these last four years without you guys. I love you guys so much. I just want to thank my family, my friends, and everyone that made these past four years possible. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Liv, and all the people that helped me out these past four years. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank all my friends. I did it. I graduated. Thank you, everyone. My mom, my husband, Michael, my sister, Carmen, for believing in me and through this journey. Gracias a mami por todo tu consejo y tus enseñanzas. I want to thank my daughter for being the motivation for me with her graduation last year. And to my wife, Sherry, I love you. Thank you for being patient with me. Huge thank you to my mom and dad and three older brothers for always believing in me. Love you so much. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Love you. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for coming to every track meet and cross-country meet. Thanks to my mom, my dad, my sister, and my whole family. I could never have done all this without you. Hi, Mom. Hey, Dad. I just want to say that I did it. Thank you so much for being there for me and supporting me through these past four years. Also, thank you to my wonderful boyfriend. You were there for me through all stressful times with Starbucks and flowers in hand. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'd like to give a big thank you to my whole family who's made so many sacrifices to make my education possible, especially my brother Troy. I love you so much. Y finalmente, quiero dar gracia a mi profesores de español, Mikey, Hugo, y Enrique. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister for supporting me and encouraging me over the last four years. I love you guys so much. I did it. Thank you to my entire family. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I love you guys. I want to say thank you to my parents, grandparents, family, and friends for being there these last four years. I want to thank my parents, my friends, my peers, and all my clinical preceptors for all the challenges and opportunities that have molded who I am today. Hi, Mom and Dad. I just want to thank you for everything. You guys are my heart and soul, and I couldn't have done it without you. Love you. I just wanted to thank my Mom and Dad for not giving up on me and pushing me through this even when I wanted to give up. I also want to thank Ms. Sunny and Mrs. Sebring for inspiring me because I wouldn't be going to school to be an educator if it wasn't for them and 
I know I'm going to hear about this from Sonny later because I don't have a tie-in right now. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and all my family for supporting me through the last six years of college. And I finally did it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I love you. Couldn't have done it without you. Hi, we'd like to give a shout-out to Dr. Stan, Dr. Roush, and Dr. Bowler. Thank you guys for all your guidance and support throughout the years. And I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my boyfriend for supporting me throughout all of my college career. And thank you to my family for all your love and caring throughout this whole time. My mom, my brother, and Mr. Pass, thank you so much for supporting me these past four years. Y'all are the best. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to my mom, dad, and brother Jamie. I love you all. I couldn't have done it without you. And a special shout out to the Bucks. I want to say thanks to my mom, dad, the entire nursing faculty, and MTG for making my college experience what it was. Hi mom and dad, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for all of your support and everything that you've done for me over the past four years. I wouldn't have been able to get this far without you. I love you so much and thank you to the Ed Department. You are all amazing. Westfield State University, I thank you. My mother thanks you, my dog thanks you. After all these years, started in 1973 and my mom got me through. Uh, get the double entendre, senior class, senior citizen. I want to say thanks to my mom, uh, my dad, my brother, and my sister for getting me through these four years of college. Hi, Mom and Dad. Thank you for everything you have done. I love you. Hi, Mom, Dad, Peter, Steve, Brian, Savannah, Matthew. I love you guys so much. Thank you. And thank you to Sarah, Allie, and Kelly for being my rocks. Hi, Mom, Dad, Steven. Um, thank you so much for just supporting me and being there for me through all my breakdowns and all my happy moments. Um, it's really meant the world to me. Thank you Pat, to Patty and Uncle. Um, you guys, I don't know where I'd be without you. I love all of you so much, thank you. Well, Mom, just <laughs> wanted to say thank you for all, for all your support these four years. And yeah, love you. <laughs> Hi, Mom, Dad, Sam and Jake. Just want to say thank you for your support and I love you guys. Hi, Mom, Dad. Thanks for always picking me up freshman year. Love you. Thank you for all your support. Kristen, Amory, Dustin, Kevin, thank you always for being my best siblings I could have. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Tyler. Thank you. I love you. Hi. I just want to thank all my family, especially my mother. Um, I love all you guys, and thank you so much. I just want to say thank you to my boyfriend, my grandma, my brothers, and my sisters for being there for me. Um, thank you, guys. You're the best. Hola, familia. Queremos darle las gracias a nuestra familia por darnos su apoyo durante estos cuatro años. Los amamos. Gracias. We love you. Hello. Hi, Ma. I want to say, me pesa me da wase wa nyami shao bibia wa ya mame. Nyami shao pa me do pa sister on so sa. I love you guys. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the historic 178th commencement exercises of Westfield State University. Please welcome our Grand Marshal, Dr. Erica Pilber, followed by the faculty and staff of Westfield State University.
please welcome the class of 2017, led by class officers and executive board members.
please welcome our valedictorians, salutatorians, and Dean's Award winner. And now, please welcome our platform party. Welcome, welcome to this community of learned women and men. I am Masha Murata, Vice President for Academic Affairs. The 178th commencement exercises for Westfield State University are now in session. I would like to acknowledge our signer for today's ceremony, Anthony McGrath, on my right. We ask, we ask that you silence your cell phones, but we encourage you to post photos and celebratory remarks about the ceremony to Twitter and Instagram using hashtag Westfield State 2017. Please stand while our Westfield State University police officers present our nation's colors. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem performed by soloist Nina Stimmage Norwood, class of 2017, and the Westfield State University Wind Symphony under the direction of Professor Karen Lavoy. Stripes and bright. 
Thank you, Nia. Please remain standing as we welcome Mother Nancy Webb Shroud, Stroud to deliver the invocation. I invite each of you to take a moment right now and think of the individuals who have brought you to this place. Graduates, think of your teachers who have pushed and pulled you into new knowledge. And think of your parents, grandparents, siblings, and significant others who support you and are ready to cheer when they hear your name read from one of these microphones. Family members and friends straining to find the face of your loved one in this sea of mortar boards. Close your eyes for a moment. Think of your graduate. Faculty, administration, and staff of Westfield State, think of your students and colleagues, the ones who ponder a question, write an eloquent essay, learn a complicated formula, the ones who work hard, and the ones who require daily encouragement, the ones who make your dedicated work worthwhile. And now, our hearts and minds are full of gratitude. So together, we offer our thanks to the Holy One, who is beyond us, around us, and in us, and who surrounds us this day and in this place, with love beyond measure. Amen. Thank you, Mother Stroud. Please be seated. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ramon S. Torresia, Westfield State University's 20th president, a first-generation college student and graduate of public higher education. Dr. Torresia is a seasoned leader who has worked to build programs to support student success. In addition to his priorities of student success and inclusive excellence at Westfield, Dr. Torcia has committed to increasing student retention, reshaping Westfield State's narrative and presence in the community, and developing a culture of renewed philanthropy. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Westfield State University, Dr. Ramon S. Torcia. Thank you, Dr. Moroda. Good afternoon. Welcome to our 2017 graduates and their special guests. Please let us take a moment to also thank and welcome our distinguished guests and speakers whose service sets an exceptional example for our students. Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy, State Representative John Villas, Board of Higher Education, Dr. Patricia Marshall, and Westfield State University Board of Trustees, led by Chairman Steve Marcus. Welcome. I also would like to extend a special welcome, and I thank you to our faculty. Thank you for all you do on behalf of our students. Thank you also to our staff for all you do on behalf of our students. Thank you. Today is Armed Forces Day, and Westfield State University is proud to have been received 
numerous accolades as a military and veteran-friendly university. I wanted to recognize 41 undergrad and seven graduate military members and veterans who have earned diplomas this semester. They truly represent the best of our armed forces. We are proud of you, we acknowledge and thank you for your service. Would you, the military and veteran students and guests, please rise so we can recognize you. Thank you. Today is a special day for Westfield State University. We are honored to have all of you here for this momentous occasion, especially the families, friends, and loved ones. As proud as we are of our class of 2017, I can only imagine the pride that all of you feel when you hear your son, your daughter, or lover one's name being called from one of these microphones. I share a unique kingship with the class of 2017. I suppose like parents, leaders should not admit to having a favorite. But I will say that the class of 2017 welcomed me with open arms during my very first full academic year as the president of Westfield State University. <laughs> Last night I was reviewing my remarks and I felt um, there was actually bittersweet. It's a bittersweet day for me, and it's a bittersweet day for all of us. As you students have pursued and fulfilled your passion at Westfield State, we were privileged to play a part in educating and preparing you for the next chapter of your professional and personal journey. I'm sure today brings fond reflection on a highly memorable, life-changing time in your life. Alongside with the coursework you endured, you also gained plenty of knowledge and wisdom from internships, study abroad, research and creative activities, and hands-on experience. You also have learned plenty as a commuter, as a resident student, or as a volunteer for a cause on or off our campus. Use that insight wisely to serve something bigger than yourselves as well-rounded, socially responsible citizens, you're ready to make your signature and change the world and change the communities where you are going to be part of. After today, we shift gears and Westfield State becomes your beloved alma mater. However, we still have high expectations for you. Not only we wanted to hear of your achievements beyond Westfield State, we'll be calling you new, one of our 42,000 alumni for input and support. We will value and welcome your ideas and uh, engagement so that we can make this remarkable institution even better for those who follow on your footsteps. We will miss you, class of 2017, but we will certainly not forget you. Congratulations.
Now please join me in welcoming the chair of Westfield State University Board of Trustees, Stephen Marcus, who brings congratulations and greetings on behalf of the board. Thank you, President Torresia. Isn't he a phenomenal president to have, or what? You know, President Torresia, we thank you for your leadership. We thank you for always reminding us to be able to live out our Westfield experience. And Madam Attorney General, it is such an honor to have you with us today we know that you had lots of invitations, but you chose to be with us to deliver your remarks, and on behalf of the entire board, a hearty and warm Westfield welcome. <clears throat> to our world-class faculty, and what a world-class faculty you are, thank you for your expertise in your fields, Thank you for continuing to teach us and to guide us and to mentor us. To our faculty and to our staff, we are truly indebted to your commitment to education and to try to do the best with what we have. My dear friends, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, these 11 men and women who work tirelessly for this university, who constantly give to this university with their time, with their talent, and with their treasures. They work for us every single day to make Westfield State University a leading university in the United States of America. And at this time, I would like to ask my board to kindly stand up and to get the recognition that they truly deserve your Board of Trustees at Westfield State University. And to you beautiful people that sit up in the top of this arena, to the mothers and to the fathers and to the grandmothers and the grandfathers and the aunts and the uncles, thank you for entrusting your greatest possession, your children. Thank you for trusting us with your children. We educated them, and now we give them back to you with joy and with love. So continue to enjoy them. So families, congratulations to every one of you. I am a proud alum of Westfield State University, and I graduated in the year 1988. And I thank the people at Westfield State University for giving me the foundation to be able for the past 25 years to do what I love most, and that's to be able to work with frail, elderly, patients and citizens that reside here within the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Elderly people are the greatest treasure that we have. They are filled with wisdom. We have to continue to love them and we have to continue to learn from them. Earlier today, <clears throat> Earlier today, I was at one of my nursing homes, and I was able to have a coffee social with 12 local elders at a local East Long Meadow nursing home. And I shared with them that I was coming today to the Westfield State University commencement address. So I said to the people that were in my coffee circle, these wonderful elders, I said to them, is there anything that you would like me to share with the class of 2017? They took this very seriously, and they offered three remarks, and I'm going to share those right now if I may. This comes from our elders within our community. Here's what they said. Whatever you do, don't 
ever give up. Keep moving forward. Do you agree with that? The second thing that they said, whatever you do, do it with love. Continue to use your heart and to do it with love. Do you agree with that? And the third one brought tears to my eyes because this is what they said. If you have a grandmother or a grandfather or somebody in your family that's in a nursing home, bring them your diploma over the next couple of days to be able to visit them. My dear friends, on behalf of this board of trustees, on behalf of everybody that's in the Mass Mutual Center, we're proud of you. We love you. God bless you. Go Owls! Thank you, Chair Marcus. Now bringing greetings on behalf of the faculty and librarians is Dr. Frank Giuliano, Professor of Chemical and Physical Sciences. President Torosia, the Honorable Maura Healy, WSU trustees, faculty and librarians, staff, distinguished guests, families, friends, and of course, graduating students. On behalf of the faculty, I am honored to be among the first to offer heartfelt congratulations to the Westfield State University class of 2017. It has been my privilege to get to know so many of you, both inside and outside of my science classroom during your time at WSU. For those of you who have had me for a class or two and thought you had finally heard the last from me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you'll be glad to know that when I was asked to address you, it was also requested that I keep this speech to three minutes. Perhaps one of the reasons that I was asked to bring greetings from the faculty this year is that science has been in the news a lot lately. And one of the most important aspects of my job is to help my students understand how important science is, not only in our day-to-day -day personal lives, but in the world around us. I'm not just talking about scientific facts and discoveries. I'm talking about scientific process. Now, perhaps more than ever in our history, it is imperative that we, as a society, demand evidence, scrutinize information, and think critically. Those skills, while absolutely essential in all facets of science, are also vital in many academic disciplines, and indeed in all facets of life. I hope we have helped you to develop those skills. But even more importantly, I hope that we have instilled in you a sense of moral obligation to push back when the very principles and ideals that are the foundation of science are threatened, and that especially includes the intersection of science with issues of environmental and social justice. <laughs> Having said that, it would be very easy to offer you very cliche and superficial words about making a difference in the world and finding your path, and then congratulate you and wish you well. But standing here before you today evokes feelings that I had when I graduated from college over 30 years ago. Feelings of fear and uncertainty about the future. And I suspect that some of you have similar feelings today. Even with all of my privilege as a white male, the truth is that at my own college graduation, I never would have guessed that I would have the honor of bringing greetings from the faculty to a future graduating class on such a momentous occasion. In fact, even graduating from college defied the odds for me. I'm the son of an immigrant and not from a financially comfortable family. And like many of you, I was among the first generation in my family to go to college.
I always felt like I didn't belong there. I heard the messages loudly and clearly, intentional or not, that discouraged me from moving forward simply because my background was different from many others. I was afraid, and I had some setbacks, but I persisted anyway. Along your life's journey, you will hear many voices, externally and internally, that may place doubts in your mind and have you thinking that you should give up. At times, you might be afraid, and that's okay, because it means you're about to do something really courageous. I offer you a brief example. There's a saying I heard a while back that I try to live by. Be the person you needed when you were younger. Let me repeat that. Be the person you needed when you were younger. When I was your age, I left the small rural town where I had been raised and finally was able to fully embrace my identity as a gay man. Yet, much like when I was younger, I heard those vo voices calling me different and an outsider and telling me that I was not worthy to succeed. Again, I was afraid and discouraged, but I did not turn back. And because I chose to move forward despite feeling insecure, I was transformed from a scared and bullied child to a visible role model, even having had the honor of being sworn into the Massachusetts Commission for LGBTQ Youth a couple of years ago by the Honorable Maura Healy. So please, be who you are even when the world is cruel and ignorant, because you never know what you might accomplish or who may need you, and you'll be paying it forward in ways you never imagined. I'm sure that Westfield State's most famous alumna, Nettie Stevens, never would have imagined that she would make such an important contribution to science and to women everywhere, or that a science and innovation center would one day be named after her at her alma mater. And I'm sure that she would agree that if you follow your passion, you just never know what you might contribute and whose lives you may touch. Con congratulations again from all of us. Thank you, Professor Giuliano. Bringing greetings as a representative of the class of 2017 is its president, Andrew Morin. Thank you, Dr. Murata. Good afternoon, Westfield State University, class of 2017, faculty, staff, <laughs> administration, the board of trustees, family, friends, and guest speaker, Attorney General Maura Healy. How many of you have heard the phrase, we have always done it this way? <laughs> Nursing professor, Dr. Jessica Holden, challenged this idea for me by introducing this quote on the first day of nursing research. The most damaging phrase in the language is, we've always done it this way. Historically, Westfield State has been a place for change. When Westfield Normal School opened its doors in 1839, it was the first co-educational, public, teacher preparation school in the United States, and it erected no barriers against students because of gender, race, religion, or income. Embracing change is intrinsic to the college experience, especially at Westfield State University. Westfield State continues to make significant changes that positively impact the campus community. Previously housed in Juniper Park Elementary School with a one-room lab at a local hospital, the nursing department now has a state-of-the-art nursing simulation laboratory in the Science and Innovation Center, named after, named after Dr. Nettie M. Stevens, a distinguished alumna of Westfield State credited with the, 
with the discovery of sex determination by chromosome. Last year, Westfield State started our own locally sourced sustainable dining program and partnered with local charitable organizations to open the Common Goods Food Pantry for students, faculty, and staff members in need. This year, Westfield State opened a performing and art, fine arts center for theater, music, and art students, named after Professor Amarita Catherine Dower. In my junior year, I took a course led by Dr. Catherine Savini, where we implemented social change on campus. I worked with my project partner, the Queer Straight Alliance, students advocating for gender equality and residential life to create a safe living learning community that will be implemented this fall for 45 LGBTQIA students and allies. Other students here today have created positive change both on and off campus. My roommates, Caroline Chizik, Celia Vaughn, and Tiffany Mosho, all graduates of the education program, spend hours every week creating lessons that aim to change the lives of their students for the better. Rebecca O'Leary, a theater arts graduate, wrote and directed her own play called The B Word to raise awareness of the stigmas associated with bisexuality. Erin Pratt and Mary Bridget O'Callaghan, both graduates of the nursing department, implemented a new fall risk assessment protocol and hourly rounding at Bay State Medical Center and Milford Regional Hospital to increase patient safety and satisfaction. The Class of 2017 Council here at Westfield State has spent two years working on the Mr. Westfield program that collectively raised over $17,000 for Make-A-Wish Foundation of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. This is just a limited list of a handful of undergraduates who have been able to create change on and off campus. If we, as Westfield State students, can do this before we earn our degrees, there is no stopping the positive change that we, as Westfield State graduates, can implement in the world. I grew up fearing that my homosexuality would prevent me from chasing my dreams of working in healthcare and having a family. Change has allowed someone like me, an openly gay man, to not only be a class president, but to speak here today in front of all of you, and I take pride in that. However, however, there is work to be done. You all have the power to create positive change. I urge you not to resist it, but to embrace it. Take the knowledge and insight that you've gained at Westfield State University and ensure a better word, world for yourselves and those around you. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Andrew. Our best to you and to the class of 2017. I now have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker, a champion of the underserved and underrepresented populations in Massachusetts. Attorney General Maura Healy's work on behalf of the people of Massachusetts consistently makes headlines, and for good reason. Even before taking the oath as Attorney General, her work in government made a significant uh, difference in the lives of others in the state of Massachusetts, in our region, and in some cases across the country. Her admirable work ethic as the people's lawyer has been noticed, as has her overall tenacity to tackle the most relevant issues facing the citizens of the Commonwealth. And for our student athletes here today, 
Yes, she did start as a point guard at the collegiate and professional level. So please help me welcome Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Go Owls! It is, a, it is an honor to be with all of you here today. I can't think of a better place to be, a more inspired place to be, than to be with the class of 2017. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, President Torresia, for that introduction, for your leadership of this institution. I also want to thank Representative John Vilas, uh, City Councilor here in Springfield, Tim Rook, and Dr. Patricia Marshall, who does a wonderful job on behalf of the Board of Higher Ed in the state, all over the state this time of year. It's wonderful to be with you. To Stephen Marcus and all of the trustees, thank you for the honor of the invitation and for the work that you do in supporting this incredibly important institution. To the distinguished guests and those who are being honored, including a true trailblazer in law enforcement, District Attorney Betsy Scheibel, and also Robert Goyet. Congratulations to both of you. To the faculty and the staff who made today possible by imparting your wisdom with others, I say thank you. To the families and the friends and the guests who pushed and supported all of you in tough times and encouraged you and cheered you on in good times, this is their day too. So graduates, turn around, look up above, and give those folks a round of applause. So, graduates, though, this day is all about you. And over the years, look, I know you've rooted on the blue and white and gold, including your MASCAC champion women's lacrosse team. Where are you, ladies? And your, my personal favorite, your back-to-back -back champion women's basketball team. And speaking of back-to-back, -back, I know that no school has ever brought home the Smith Cup three consecutive years in a row. Way to go. Go Owls. Look, you've also gotten some sun on Stanley Beach and sampled the chocolate fountain I heard about in the D.C. for Valentine's Day. You've taken pictures in front of the globe in your cap and gown. And now, you've made it to this day. Way to go. Graduates, I am here to celebrate with you and the incredible institution that you're graduating from. I think about the legacy that you're all inheriting today, what you are becoming a part of, a history and a legacy that goes all the way back to 1839. That's when Horace Mann gathered 20 students at a town hall in Barrie to launch the Westfield Normal School. 24 years before the end of slavery in this country, and over 80 years before women could actually vote, this institution, this institution, your institution, became the first school in America to live up to the founding ideals enshrined in our Constitution. What do you think about that? Pretty great. And as Andrew just said, you know, for the first time as a result, everyone could access an excellent education, regardless of the color of their skin, how they worshiped, or how much money their family had. And that's why, since your founding, Westfield has attracted young people who want to study in a place where everyone is welcome and every student is valued. 
One of them we know was a brilliant young teacher named Nettie Stevens. At a time when women couldn't even open a bank account or serve on a jury, Nettie went on to get her doctorate and became one of the first legendary women in science in America. We know her about her groundbreaking discoveries in biology. She did so much that Google even gave her her own doodle tribute this year on her 155th birthday. Pretty good. Now, you all know Nettie because you've got that fantastic new building on campus. I've heard all about it. I know last month you cut the ribbon on the Dr. Nettie M. Stevens Science and Innovation Center. Because here you see at Westfield, you don't just celebrate your history, you use it to inspire your future as well. From now on, this stunning state-of-the-art facility packed with cutting-edge technology and named after Dr. Stevens is going to help train our next generation of scientists and nurses and doctors and others. It's a spirit of excellence that I know you can find in buildings and departments all across the campus. I see it too in your commitment to community service through outstanding programs like Westfield Engages, which is responsible for over 60,000 student volunteer hours every year. Think about what that translates to, folks. 60,000 hours of your time this year committed to families and communities around this state. And speaking of commitment, I just want to say that especially on Armed Forces Day, I see it in your new Military Community Excellence Center, where service members and your families who serve alongside you can connect with each other and support agencies. Let's hear it once again for veterans, service members, and military families. Now, of course, in one of my favorites, I see it in your criminal justice program. <laughs> Look, as the state's chief law enforcement officer, I supervise an office of lawyers and investigators and others who work hard every day to enforce the laws to protect people here across this state. And every single day, I want you to know that the state of Massachusetts is relying on OWLs to do it. I'm proud to work along Westfield graduates in my office, and I have many including one who joins me today, Massachusetts State Trooper Pat Johnson. He's even, he's even wearing a blue and gold tie. Now, outside this office, our CJ folks I know work with many uh, Westfield State grads who wear the uniforms of the Massachusetts State Police or other police departments across the state as well as graduates who work with the FBI, DEA, ATF, district attorney's offices, and other state agencies. And that is no accident. It is a credit to this department. It is a credit to the faculty who bring decades of experience in agencies and courtrooms to the classroom. And it is a credit to your innovative curriculum. I know that you're the only university in Massachusetts to have a course, for example, on mandated reporting. And that's a credit to this institution. Uh, graduates is certainly a credit to all of you, and I hope someday you think about coming to work in the Massachusetts Attorney General's office. All of you graduates, though, you reflect the very best in what this school has to offer, not just in criminal justice, but in departments all across campus. Take Samantha Lee, for example. Where's Samantha? Samantha is a great example. You know, Samantha came here to pursue a degree in education. And at first, she wasn't sure what that really meant. But thankfully, she was at Westfield State University. And that meant that she had the support of networks of teachers and staff who helped her find the right path. And with that support, not only did she complete her senior honors thesis, she was also teaching fifth graders to improve their math skills, and they love Samantha so much, they just threw her a big old pizza party this week to wrap up the quarter. And that's an example of the amazing work that's being done. Samantha's going to go on, I know, out to San Francisco and teach for AmeriCorps. And I know when she was asked why she decided to apply to AmeriCorps, she said, 
I saw it as an opportunity to serve a community that needed supportive leaders. You know, it's that spirit, it's that attitude why I was so honored to be able to come to join you here today. You understand the importance of community. You understand the importance of stepping up and serving a cause greater than your own. I wanted to celebrate that spirit and that legacy with all of you. Now, because it is commencement, I'm just going to take a couple more moments. I know I'm one of the few things standing between you and your degree, so I won't be long. But I do want to share a little bit. And, and that is that many of you, like Samantha, may know what comes next. But many of you may not. And I am here to tell you that if you're one of those graduates living with some uncertainty, that's OK. You are leaving Westfield State University with all that you need. You've got a great education, and you've got a curiosity that has prepared you for anything that is to come. My advice to you is to follow Samantha's lead and Nellie's lead. Apply your passions as a supportive leader in your community. And if you do, you may never know or may never be able to guess right now where you're going to end up. And I say take that from me. You know, I grew up in a small town on the New Hampshire border. For most of my childhood, it was just me, my mom, and my four younger brothers and sisters. I'd gotten to go to college with the help of scholarships and financial aid. And like many of you, I found myself working my way through schools. I used to do laundry in the athletic department when I wasn't at basketball practice. And then in the summers, I worked a few shifts a day waitressing. When senior year came around and when I graduated, I didn't know what was next. I had a degree in government, and I saw you poli-sci folks out there, but I wasn't sure how to use it. I'd been given the opportunity to go play basketball, though, overseas in Europe, and I'd never really been away from home or really been away from New England. People told me it was the wrong move and that I was crazy to take that job. But I discovered a world that I never would have known, a world that was much bigger than the one I'd grown up with. When I got overseas and I decided to take that job, even though it barely paid a thing, I got over there and I met my coach. My coach at the time had just fled from the former Yugoslavia, which was breaking up at the time and in the midst of war. He was a professional men's basketball coach in Sarajevo but he had to take his family and flee across the border into Austria to save himself and his kids. And he ended up coaching our team. I met teammates who were the daughters of cow farmers from rural parts of Austria and Germany, worlds away from what I had known in New England. But there were a few things that I learned amidst the uncertainty and the uncomfortableness of it all. I learned that we don't have to speak the same language or come from the same background to get along, to work together, and to get things done. I also learned, and it took me going 3,000 miles away from this shore, I learned the values of American democracy and how precious those are. You know, some of my teammates at that time were experiencing new freedoms and new opportunities that I had taken for granted as a 21-year-old. The right to speak your mind and express yourself, the right to travel, the right to make decisions, the right to worship and love who you want. I decided then that I wanted to be an advocate for those same rights. I didn't know where that would lead exactly, but inevitably it led me to law school and on to the job that I have now. It's been a rewarding career, or a career more rewarding than I could ever imagine. It's allowed me to argue cases and take cases before the Supreme Court, to work with leaders in government and business and nonprofits to protect people and their rights, and to try to make a difference in people's lives. All of this happened, and it only happened, because I was willing to trust my gut, to follow my passion, and to use my education to do what I thought was right. Now, that's just my story. 
you're all going to have your own stories. But I want you to be guided by a few things. Trust yourself and trust your gut. Work to serve others by applying your skills and talents to the challenges before you. You're entering the world right now and the job market during some pretty strange times. You could say it's a time of uncertainty for our country. You see that borne out each day by some of the TV reports and what we're getting over Twitter. But that's why you need to stay steady and stay strong. Trust your gut and lead by example. If Nellie Stevens and Samantha Lee can follow their passions in service of others, that's what all of us can do. And if a girl from a small town in rural New Hampshire ends up Attorney General, it's just an example of what can happen. So finally, I want you to be curious, be humble, and be kind. Seek honest dialogue with one another, especially people who are different from you and who may see the world differently from you. That is more important now than ever. I have to tell you that just moments ago, I had the opportunity to meet many of you as you came through the hallway on the way to process in. And as I looked at all of the different majors, all I could think about is some of the challenges and the problems confronting us right now as a state. And I thought about, as I looked out at each and every one of you, the talents and the skills and the work that you're going to do to make our community, our state, and our country even greater. I can only imagine what the future holds for each and one of you. It is truly going to be great. The last thing I want you to do, though, is remember something. There are folks up there and out there who are always going to be much more nervous for you than you're going to be for yourselves. That's their job. But from time to time, pick up the phone or shoot them an email or a text and just check in. Listen. Listen. You go forward and let your imagination be your only limitation Congratulations, graduates. Go out and be great. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Oops, I just lost my microphone. That would not be a good thing. Attorney General Haley, thank you so much for your inspiring words and for helping us to send forth the class of 2017. Now, in addition to conferring our backward degrees today, Westfield State University has the additional honor of recognizing two individuals distinguished by exceptional achievements and influence in their fields and communities. Each represents the spirit of critical, creative thinking and social responsibility, reflecting the mission of our institution. Would Robert Goyette please come forward? Robert T. Goyette, Sr., a native of Massachusetts. You earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Massachusetts and have spent a lifetime building homes, operating a business, and investing in your community. Your company, Heritage Homes, has served the people of Western Massachusetts and Connecticut for more than 60 years. Whereas you have established a workplace culture that honors individuals over profit, promoting honesty, accountability, and selflessness as your organizational core values. And whereas you have demonstrated a noble dedication to civic and community service 
as modeled engaged leadership as member of boards of directors of multiple institutions. Whereas you have passionately served as one of the regional members of the Westfield State Foundation, working tirelessly to establish critical financial support for Westfield State University's first generation of college students. And whereas you have provided your considerable knowledge and skills to oversee the regional construction and later upgrades at the Albert and Amelia First Interface Center at Westfield State University in an effort to create a space for the free expression of multiple faiths by our students. Therefore, be it certified under the authority of the Board of the Trustees and the President of Westfield State University that your achievements and contributions deserve recognition by the Academy, hereby awarding the degree of Doctor of Public Service Honoris Causa. By the power vested in me as chair of the Westfield State University Board of Trustees hereby grants you, Robert Goyette, Doctor of Public Service, Honoris Causa. Would Elizabeth Scheibel please come forward? Elizabeth Scheibel, a native of Massachusetts, you've earned a bachelor degree from Mount Holyoke College and a Juris Doctorate from Western New England College, beginning your legal career in 1980 as a prosecuting attorney and quickly ascending to the role of assistant district attorney in Hamden County. Massachusetts Governor William Weld appointed you as the first female district attorney in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Following this appointment, you serve in that capacity for 17 years. Whereas you have dedicated countless hours in defense of victims of domestic violence throughout Massachusetts and as far as Japan, where your impact serve as the prosecutor, as the prosecutor to the passage of Japan's first domestic violence law. And whereas you have devoted your immense talent and skills to championing the rights of dependent adults and disabled individuals in both your legal career and your personal life, serving as the chair of the statewide Department of Development Services Advisory Panel. And whereas you have demonstrated remarkable intellect and admirable courage in the management of precedent-setting legal causes leading to the passage 
of legislature such as the Phoebe's Law. And whereas you have provided exemplary stewardship of Westfield State University as a member and chair of its board of trustees, and whereas you have served as tireless advocate for victims' rights, standing firm in the face of political and public pressure, and created a legacy of passionate defense of many who would have remained voiceless if it were not for your selfless commitment to the cause of social justice. Therefore, be it certified under the authority of the Board of Trustees and the President of Westfield State University that your achievements and contributions deserve recognition by the Academy, hereby awarding you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations. By the power vested in me as chair, the Westfield State University Board of Trustees hereby grants you, Elizabeth Scheibel, the degree of Doctor of Law, Honoris Causa. For the history books. Congratulations. Congratulations to Dr. Goyet and Dr. Shiva. Dr. Marug. Esteemed guests, friends, and relatives, the time has come. It is... It is with great pride that Westfield State University recognizes the exceptional accomplishments and future promise of the class of 2017. Would all of the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? President Torcia, I have the honor of presenting these students for their bachelor's degrees. They have met the approved requirements for this degree and have satisfied all other obligations to the university. I move, President Torcia, that you grant these students their respective degrees. By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees of Westfield State University, I hereby grant those students their bachelor's degrees with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining to them. Now we would like to begin the presentation of degrees by acknowledging some specific students whose extraordinary efforts inside and outside the classroom define our collective purpose and make Westfield State University an extraordinary learning community. Would Randy Lamenage, Stephanie McVeigh, Kelly Avard, Samantha Lee, 
and Jessica Young of the class of 2017 please come to the stage. Each year, Westfield State University awards students with the highest and second highest grade point averages in the day division with all courses completed on campus as valedictorian and salutatorian. This year, we have two students whose cumulative academic records are identical with each student earning the highest grade point average of 4.0 in the day division. In recognition of their academic achievement, both students will be named as valedictorians. This year's valedictorians are Randy Lamenage, a special education and liberal studies major from Peabody, Mass, and Stephanie McVeigh, a history education major and political science minor from Ludlow, Mass. Congratulations, Randy and Stephanie, on your remarkable achievement. This year, we also have a tie for the second highest GPA. With identical 3.99 GPAs, this year's salutatorians are Kelly Avard, a criminal justice major and mathematics and sociology minor from East Hampton, Mass., and Samantha Lee, an elementary education and liberal studies major from Hopkinton, Mass. Congratulations, Kelly and Samantha, on your remarkable achievement. And we have one more award, the Dean's Award for Academic Excellence in Continuing Education. That's the highest institutional grade point average for undergraduates with at least 60 credits completed at Westfield State in the Division of Graduate and Continuing Education. And believe it or not, we also have a tie for the Dean's Award winners. This was a high achieving class. With identical GPAs of 4.0, this year's Dean's Award winners are Jessica Young, an elementary education and liberal studies major from Chicopee, Mass., and Laurie Wilga, a liberal studies major from West Hampton, Mass., who could not be with us today. Congratulations to both Jessica and Laurie. Let's have another round of applause for these outstanding students. <laughs> Graduates, enjoy your moment here today. Please be respectful to your classmates and stay through the end of the ceremony, which will conclude with a tassel turning, the, ceremonially, the ceremonial transition of your tassel from right to left once the graduate, last graduate walks across the stage. Let us not have any empty seats in the final, as the final name is called. Let us all respect one another and celebrate together. Would the first section of graduates approach the platform from the outside aisle? All others, please be seated until the section preceding yours has fully exited. Professor Shirley Aqua of the Communication Department, Professor Liam Hart of the Philosophy Department, Professor Robert Kirsting of the Social Work Department, and Professor Sabina Klein of the English Department will read the names of our graduates. The diplomas are being presented by the senior class officers.
And now, presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Art, Sean Casey, cum laude. Good job. Do I get going? Okay. Alyssa Gates, cum laude. Congratulations. Julia Edwards. Tiffany Major. Congratulations. Haley well, Case, good luck. magna cum laude. Well done. Good luck. Shannon Prue. Allison Turkelson, well done. cum laude. Jasmine Oheen Darko. Javier Vaquez. Congratulations. And now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Communication. Rebecca Rickson. Nicole Fleck, magna cum laude. Gina Muller, cum laude. Hi, Gina. Jacob Haru, cum laude. Timothy Ru, cum laude. Sarah Casella, summa cum laude. Michael Gonfier, magna cum laude. Jessica Rowland, magna cum laude. Isabella Bonez. Caitlin Amuzo, summa cum laude. Well done, congratulations. Jalen Reed. Richard Segalia, cum laude. Ryan Nalepa, cum laude. Ryan Caulfield, magna cum laude. Francesca Cordero. Francesca. Megan Jablonski, magna cum laude. Julie McLeod. Hi, Julie. Well done. Congratulations. Ashley Florence, cum laude. Aliyah Mercer, cum laude. Congratulations. Teresa Alloy, well summa cum laude. Joseph Seal, magna cum laude. Kevin Urban. Congratulations. Michael well Norman. Eileen Shaw, well cum laude. Jonathan Lamette Magdalene. Benjamin Cavalier, magna cum laude. Well Brandon Wood. Caroline King. Brandon. Well done. Semsara Faustin. Well done. Joshua Thank you. Poria. Thank you. Kiana Lowe. Kiana. Hannah Swain, cum laude. Shikmana Bailey. Good luck. Timothy Sullivan. Congratulations. Thomas McGovern, cum laude. Congratulations. Joseph Zanchi. Elena Melanson. Justin Chatein, cum laude. Logan Alicio. Brandon Eastman, cum laude. Well Laura, Lauren Harrington. <laughs> Stephen Toole. Well done. Mary Kate Burns. Mark Hennessy. Congratulations. Well done. Nicole Cotter, magna cum laude. Owen Kelleher. Jacqueline Brady. Zachary Vaugh. Luca Bontempo. Kelsey Larina Fitzgerald, magna cum laude. Danielle Romano, cum laude. Peter Currier, cum laude. Molly Romano, cum laude. Julie Balboni, cum laude. Emily Munger, cum laude. Kelsey Riley. Daniel Sullivan. 
Tyler Mason, cum laude. Sarah Rayner, cum laude. Amanda Pereira. David Tauscher. Cole Barrett. Michaela Wallace. Ashley Lindelin, cum laude. Ariana Moffitt, cum laude. Kevin Lemke, magna cum laude. Joshua Perkins. Gianna Interbartolo. Nathaniel Jean Baptiste. Joseph Russo. Mark O'Neill. Brian Brigham, cum laude. Imani Bryant. Patrick Reynolds. Rachel Trammell. David Stedman. Melissa Adams, magna cum laude. And now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Brian Uko. Zachary Masit. Nicholas Gomes. Michael Aiello, cum laude. Jimmy, Jimmy Wing. <laughs> Bridget O'Connor, cum laude. Daniel, Danielle K, magna cum laude. Jennifer Green. Jeremiah Uriah Wallace, cum laude. Brian Ane. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in English, Michelle Sol, cum laude. Ashley Pond. Cassidy Moran. Zachary Palmer. Elizabeth Kenya, cum laude. Brandon Irzik, summa cum laude. Rebecca Mastronardi, cum magna cum laude. Molly Elizabeth Condon, cum laude. Cora Davis, magna cum laude. Kendall Rennell Robinson. Kevin Machizinski, magna cum laude. Shanice Robinson. Anissa Arroyo, cum laude. Tevin Sintron. Teresa Marini, magna cum laude. Leah Horrigan, cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Ethnic and Gender Studies. Jessica Corvo, cum laude. Woody Woodger, summa cum laude. Haley Dexter, summa cum laude. Mariah Fuller. Alicia De Jesus, summa cum laude. Samuel Hammond, cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in History, David Stenico. Christopher Dudley, magna cum laude. Gregory McMillan. Zoe Cheek, summa cum laude. William Titus. 
Stano Wheela. Stephanie McVeigh, summa cum laude. Zachary Carlson, cum laude. Samantha Power, magna cum laude. John Ostrikis, cum laude. Andrea Pearson, cum laude. Jordan Angelos, cum laude. Corey Stockwell, summa cum laude. Connor Ryan. Amanda Langley, magna cum laude. Jordan Williams. Devin Vagoda, cum laude. Connor Mullen. Sofia Velasquez. John Wickline, magna cum laude. William McKinnon, cum laude. Johnny Mitchell. Samantha Snelling. Corey White, magna cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies, Richard Iman, cum laude. Catherine Brennan. Tracy Gagner, summa cum laude. Rebecca Locke. Emily Wackerbarth, magna cum laude. Sergio Vicente. Jefferson Willis. Catherine Jeffreyon. Samantha Savoy. Roberta Keeping, magna cum laude. Rachel Daugowitz. Alyssa Santos. Ian Faulkner. Charity Trempe, magna cum laude. Michaeline Berry. Bethany Johnson, cum laude. John Sargent. Laura Rickard. Matthew Connolly. Shandy Byrne. Heather Wyman, summa cum laude. Nicholas Webb. Ashley Duvernay. Justin Bolio. Alexandra Craig. Tiffany Bolduc, cum laude. Uh, Felicia Creswell, cum laude. Elizabeth Starzik. <laughs> Natasha Reno. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics, Elizabeth Raymond, magna cum laude. Monica Tobin. Hannah Eberly, cum laude. Jared Jordan, cum laude. Carolyn Ranieri, magna cum laude. Fiona Buckley. Madison Uzar, cum laude. Rulier Thomas, cum laude. Lauren Zames, summa cum laude. Joseph Grabowski, summa cum laude. Kylie Barabee. Troy Denton, summa cum laude. Margaret Mastroianni, magna cum laude. Nathan Paquette, summa cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Music. Megan McGuire. Hannah Calderoni, cum laude. Ashley Joukowsky, summa cum laude. Marissa Podesta. Esther Commons, cum laude. Stephanie Carvalho, summa cum laude. Tyshawn Davis. Nia Stimage Norwood. Adam Guillermo. Anthony Pacheco, cum laude. Kimberly Babiak, magna cum laude. Ian McGregor. Jillian Keenan. Kyle Murray. Zachary Sears. 
Carol Stabilia. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Political Silence, Science. <laughs> Sorry. Andrew Farrington, magna cum laude. Michael Ferrara, cum laude. John Doyle, cum laude. Marlon Bryan. Cherise Henry, cum laude. Brandon Jenkins. Jenna Swachak. Kathy Shope, magna cum laude. Rebecca Kennedy. Michael Kosior, cum laude. Janice Mullen. Domenico Sarasani. Devin Wells. Jonathan Cubitas, summa cum laude. Griffin Fontana. Andrew Mitchell. Matthew Nardi. Patrick Moran. Morgan Sudeth, cum laude. Daniel Pendenza. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Aleka Camp, cum laude. Sophia Smola, cum laude. Taylor DeGray. Vanessa Cato, cum laude. Shalimar Rucci. Kathleen Fraser. Sarah Russell. Victoria De Cosmo, cum Ste laude. Stephanie LePage. Daniel Cuniff. Yesenia Catala. Kelsey Gallagher. Michaela Adorno, magna cum laude. Katrina Lubianes. Jacqueline Schlein, summa cum laude. Rebecca Whitkus. Casey Mantilla, cum laude. Molly Whitkus, cum laude. Dina Kambarova, magna cum laude. Peter Scarza, magna cum laude. Tiana Benton. Samantha Santiago. Brian Chipman. Alicia Pelletier. Vincent Cotaldo Costanzi. Gina Vlachos. Allison Peralt, cum laude. Lindsay Rollins. Alicia Berry. Tiffany Kirk. Sean Howe. Lucas Burden. Brittany Washington. Allison Levesque. Tavion Crump. <laughs> Mariah Finnerty. Nicole McGuire. Morgan McDougall. Kirsten Kelly. Benjamin Littlefield. Raina Frank. Jacob Clements. Kelsey Martin. Ashley Martinelli. Jessica Goonin, magna cum laude. Victoria Quartaroni. Fitao Bayena. Kaylee Ascalillo. Fiona Mwariyama, cum laude. Abigail Bolna, summa cum laude. Alicia Del Sant. Amanda McVicker Corbett, cum laude. Jose Reyes, cum laude. Victoria Hess, cum laude. Hannah Zanini. Alison Bates, summa cum laude. Hope Rust, cum laude. Nicole Pariso. Melissa Ray, magna cum laude. 
Mandy Benson. Allison Dougherty, cum laude. Rachel Whitney. Haley Bolide. Amanda Richards. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Jill Quinn. Michael Antonelli. Anastasia Markovich, summa cum laude. Emily Derry, cum laude. Ryan Zeller. Joe Goudreau, cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Spanish, Hope Nadeau, cum laude. Alex Doming, summa cum laude. Alexis Abro. Daisha Serrano. Jean Perez, cum laude. Kelly Giuliano, cum laude. John Django. Timothy Flavin, magna cum laude. Rehana Youssef, cum laude. <laughs> now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Arts in Theater Arts. Gwen DeFilippo. Rachel Kofsky, summa cum laude. Sydney Raymond. Daniel Garrity, cum laude. Rebecca O'Leary, magna cum laude. Amity Leary. Carly Delapena, cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Zachary Smith, magna cum laude. Joshua Cabusio. Matthew Guay. Danielle Hunt, magna cum laude. Nicholas Barton, magna cum laude. Justin Rush, cum laude. Miranda Boucher, summa cum laude. Tina Reardon, magna cum laude. Marlene Sullivan, cum laude. Madison O'Connor, magna cum laude. Christina King, cum laude. Amy Busquet. Danielle Prusik. Brittany Eau Claire. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Biology, Jonathan Tetral. Dana McPherson, magna cum laude. Thomas Corsi. Lori Merlo, summa cum laude. Megan Kilrow. Alexandra Marzak, cum laude. Neil McEwen. Wayne Barnaby, cum laude. Nicholas Blaze. Chloe Thompson. Alexa Whitney, magna cum laude. Sarah Currier, cum laude. Holly Briette, magna cum laude. Kayla King, magna cum laude. Catherine Hebert, cum laude. Kristen Fuller, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Hamilton, summa cum laude. Robert Haluska, cum laude. Cheyenne Plant, cum laude. David Lapine, Magna cum laude. Vanessa Kiriakoglo. Emily Bosenhart. Petrina Hamilton. Amanda Shea. Rosaline Ruiz. Shannon Wallace. Deyanira Trujillo. Andy Rosario, cum laude. Rina 
Maggie Apoma. Alison Brennan. Renee Agyapoma. Emily Stulgis. Brianna Moylan. Reem Al Marworth. Andrew Mancino. And now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Business Management, Ryan Duquette. Alex Clancy, excuse me, Alex Clancy. <laughs> Jasmine Bobbitt, summa cum laude. Nicole Lehan. Brandon Trafford. Max Stevens. Joseph Hollis. Michael Goodwin. Tyler Doherty, cum laude. Cara Purdy, cum Daniel, laude. Daniel Gavin. Arthur Sheramet. Robert Portenstein. Nicole Bourgeois, summa Kate, cum laude. Caitlin Moran. Adam Burden, cum laude. Danielle Dupuis. Patrick Daggett, cum laude. Timothy Higgins, cum laude. Joseph Pantusco. Ronald Dumont, cum laude. Delaney Pichet. Samuel Weinberg. Kathleen Altenreath, cum laude. Ashley Lepardo. Olivia Nugera, cum laude. Jenna Ramondi, cum laude. Magna, cum laude. Nicole Martins. Lauren Kershaw. Carly Van. Mary Payne, cum laude. Ashley McWilliams. Carly Roy, magna cum laude. Jessica Garcia, cum laude. Kristen Sundelin. Fabio Tavares, cum laude. Kayla Labaroni, magna cum laude. Brandon Tavares, cum laude. Gina Fiore, cum laude. Brianna Esposito. Michaela D'Amato, magna cum laude. Deanna Fell. Brittany Bazinet. Alexander Mola, summa cum laude. Brooke Quinney, magna cum laude. Dario Visadomini, cum laude. Mag sorry, Megan Silva, summa cum laude. Destiny Viarengo. Matthew Benoit. Reynaldo Pedraza. Dylan Ryan. Renee Taft. Amanda McQueen. Ken Kempadu. Abigail Lasinski. Stephanie Shaw. Lillian Silvia, cum laude. Alexander Ferreira. Danielle Pashoka, summa cum laude. William Allard. Daniel Chamberlain, magna cum laude. Drew Vertanian. Kevin Nichols, magna cum laude. Albert Bro. Jonathan Lemoyne. Philip DeFilippo. Caitlin Johnson. Jose Allen, cum laude. Emily Masterson. Brenton Jenkins. Amy McKinley, summa cum laude. Devante Clark. Jonathan Grunwald. Ilyas Shuja. David Bliss, cum laude. Connor Ford, cum laude. Ryan Mulligan, cum laude. Shannon McCleary. Magna cum laude. Devin Miles. Terence Watson Dupere. Alina Verratti. 
William Wright. Danielle St. Pierre, summa cum laude. Michael Carrier. Gillian Tardy. Nathan Richards, cum laude. Colleen Duffy, cum laude. Michael LeBlanc. Tyler Maher. James Schmidt, magna cum laude. Connor Sweeney, cum laude. Jeffrey Yelinek, cum laude. Corbin Briggs. Brian Abbott. Patrick O'Neill. Kyle Kenny, cum laude. Billy Ho. Timothy Marini. Nicholas Cunningham. Molly Souza, cum laude. John Champaglia, cum laude. Amanda Vasquez, summa cum laude. Michael Rufo. Alyssa Lemmy, magna cum laude. Kyle Murphy. Margaret Parker, cum laude. Nathan Barnes, summa cum laude. Nicole Modlish. Michael Hersey, cum laude. Rachel Lacey, cum laude. James Arno. David Jung. Justin Danini. Victoria Randall. Brandon Chasse, summa cum laude. Joseph Tortora. Thomas Medeiros, cum laude. Alicia Daly, cum laude. Jamil Harb. Amy Nelson, summa cum laude. Stephen Medlin, Jr. Jonathan LaParco, magna cum laude. Brendan Tamil, magna cum laude. Jackson Leaf, cum laude. Samuel Vincingera, cum laude. Jacob Goldberg. Brendan Kerr. Tao Trong, cum laude. Samuel Connolly. Samantha Kelleher, cum laude. John Cashman, cum laude. Nicole Frito, cum laude. Robert Morris. Rose Maskowski. Brett Hooten, magna cum laude. Emma Rodriguez, cum laude. Kyle Tibalt. Wyatt Balmas, cum laude. Kelly Schofield. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Antonelli Merce Cortez. I should have asked her about that. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems, David O'Brien. Michael Benghazi. Tyrone Williams. Robex Grant. Abdul Ashraf. Adam Duby, cum laude. Deborah Demores. Eric Thompson. Jeshua Quinones Santiago. Michaela Canelli, summa cum laude. Ahmad Mirza. Sarah Thills, summa cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Evan Champagne. Jonathan Bliss. Jesse Neferatos. 
William Gaynot. Jeffrey Apt. Christopher Evans, summa cum laude. Bao Tran, magna cum laude. Michael Koshe, magna cum laude. Tyler Gustafson, cum laude. Tyler Hensley, cum laude. Shaikh Abdullah. Armesdi Lorancet. Samuel Gendron. Stephen Webby. Alexander Gendron, cum laude. Jeremiah Backhock. Luke Miranda. Malcolm Chisholm, summa cum laude. Alexander Blockin. Nathan Marmello. Now presenting graduate for the Bachelors in Science in Criminal Justice, Richard Cimarano. Gary Casida. Nathaniel Jenkins. Alicia Cullen. Connor Houston. Gabriela Hernandez, cum laude. Anthony Bucini. Okay. Sydney Dergi, cum laude. Oliver Lowe. Donald Dorsier. Timothy Harnden. Alex Scani, cum laude. Sean Savage. Christy Serrara. Andrew Garrigan. Kamal Prisahoda. Derek Avila, summa cum laude. Sophia Lynn Ellis. Joshua Canning, cum laude. Derek Benchard, cum laude. Brandon Ranode. Aaron Bailey. Earl Turnbull. Evan Trosinski, summa cum laude. Jonathan Huey, cum laude. Kelly Avat, summa cum laude. Brian Garcia, cum laude. Troy Moffat. Thomas Madden, summa cum laude. Nicolas Jimenez, cum laude. Peter Rain, magna cum laude. Joseph Silver. Caitlin Hannon, cum laude. Nico Garcia. Megan Fursky. Kevin Kosloskas, cum laude. Amanda Thibodeau, magna cum laude. Jacob Bourdieu. Alina Bracken, cum laude. Nicholas Destacio. Kayla Smith, cum laude. Andrew Burns. Nicole Kenya, cum laude. Stephanie Crocan. Nicole Answorth. Connor Lawdon. Tyler Lucas Martins, cum laude. Jack Lehan. Michelle Ameda, cum laude. Michael Cabral, magna cum laude. Jennifer Roy, cum laude. Samantha Ryan. Nicole Cruz, cum laude. Michael Conley. Kyle Gregory, cum laude. Nicholas Labado. Michael McCauley. Corey Jenks. Kevin Nugent. Joseph Marlin. Peter Magaliasi, magna cum laude. Adele Spinder. Gabrielle DiArco. Mark Warbrick. Shane Smith. Zachary Clayford, cum laude. Dylan Rizzo. Santo Parisi. Christopher Gallagher, cum laude. Stephen Brown. Andrew Montanez. Nicole Bushy, cum laude. Matthew Plass. April Warb. Christopher Kenny. 
Joan Almonte. Nicholas Presswood. Kyle Roy. Joseph Mazza. Connor Norton. Ethan Goldberg, magna cum laude. Donald Murphy, cum laude. Nathan Cantor. Timothy Malo, cum laude. Abdukul here, dear Hussan. Patrick Layden, cum laude. Laney Sayre. Ryan Wilder. Cynthia Eager. Shauna Williams. Emily Hanshaw, magna cum laude. Chelsea Bolton. Luke Zellick. Melissa Kagi. Lauren Chapin. Katie Carlson. Brianna Winberg. Allison Tobias, cum laude. Shannon Grieve, cum laude. Cassandra Berba, cum laude. Francesca Alcatara, magna cum laude. Rebecca LeBlanc, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Delier, magna cum laude. Jade St. Pierre. Michael Stender. Alexa Smith, cum laude. Gregory Denz, magna cum laude. Emily Ensco. Liz Martinez. Holly Fox. James Goncalves. Sean Atchison. James Maynard. Nicholas Griffin. Andrew Biggs. Kyle Finemo. Justin McCartney Peters, magna cum laude. James Henshi. Kyle Arsenault. Samantha Bennett. Devin Hunter, summa cum laude. Maria Torado. Dylan Carvello. Teresa Miller. Sean Brathwaite. Rachel, Rachel LaFontaine. Carly Punier, cum laude. Michael Gonzas, summa cum laude. Nicholas Diaz. Jordan Rose. Eric Randall, magna cum laude. Doug Mate, cum laude. Sean Halpin. Talia Castro. Evan Hobson, cum laude. Jennifer Wicks. Christopher Chivere, cum laude. Alexander Lake, summa cum laude. Jacob McGrath, cum laude. Sean Scherz. Michael Sugru, cum laude. Laura Wicks. Stephen Mullaney. Jennifer Novak. Michael O'Brien. Emily Richman, cum laude. Rory Mitchell. Elib Elizabeth Ogilsby. Michael Mankovec, cum laude. Lacey Ann Nielsen, cum laude. Anthony Fadman, cum laude. Adam Taxton, cum laude. Pedro Repso. Adam Rater. Colin Marso, cum laude. Zachary McLaren. Chad King, magna cum laude. Jesso Vergas, cum laude. Jennifer Page, cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Eli King. Holly Walsh, cum laude. Bailey Vinette. Ashley Norter, cum laude. Alexis Peterson, cum laude. Matthew Furham. Rebecca Wright. 
James Strasky, cum laude. Alexandra Gaspar, magna cum laude. Dustin Spitz, cum laude. Deanna Dominique Kelly, cum laude. Tyla Schofield, magna cum laude. Melissa Higley, summa cum laude. David and Rami. Ariana Becker, cum laude. Alex Hilla, cum laude. Damon Fence. Seamus Gihan. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Movement Science. Nicole Lano, magna cum laude. Dana Kelby, magna cum laude. Kylie Hubbard, cum laude. Alexandra Barry Kennedy. Kristen Lankarge, summa cum laude. Christina Pindo. Trisha Alves. Brittany Gozek. Haley Ishum. Samantha Wunk. Elizabeth Jeresey. Adam Nyopel. Lauren Foodie. Cody Atos, Kuma Laudi. Neri Aranku, Magna Josh Cum Laude. Joshua Hayward, Cum Laude. Victoria Kraus. Joshua Baglow. Jessica Lundy, Cum Laude. Kona Josera Gwynn. Jennifer Dunphy, Cum Laude. Brian Bago, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Tenaro, Cum Laude. Troy Domin, Summa Cum Laude. Tyler Gregory, Magna Cum Laude. Michael Canavel. Caitlin Matroni, Magna Cum Laude. Sassy Podcast. Ashley Dow Romano, Cum Laude. Frank Hoyle. Mariana Gosselin, Cum Laude. Tyler Prescott, Cum Laude. Sydney Isold, Summa Cum Laude. Alison Levine, Cum Laude. Erica Goen. Ashley Monahan, Cum Laude. Emma Dunbar, Magna Cum Laude. Alison Bancroft, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Gay, Cum Laude. Emily Molke. Ryan Gatro. Tela Soret, Magna Cum Laude. Megan Buchanan. Jacqueline Farrell, Magna Cum Laude. Kate Carbonair, Cum Laude. Andrea Coca, Cum Laude. Tyler Timponi. Kayla Doblak. Jason Suvak, Cum Laude. Miranda Murray, Cum Laude. Melanie Ross, Cum Laude. Jacqueline Gallo. Abigail Clark, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Wallace, Cum Laude. Sydney Clotier. Elizabeth Van Worma, Cum Laude. Courtney Castellano. Tabita Cat, Cum Laude. Brianna Arnold, Magna Cum Laude. Sean Brennan. Adriana Spear. Ryan O'Malley. Maura Pacek. Patrick O'Connor. Reagan Teixeira. Sean Smith, Cum Laude. Brian Rudd. Casey Ballo, Magna Cum Laude. Janelle Jeskowitz. Zachary Hodges, Cum Laude. Megan Dougherty, Magna Cum Laude. Marybeth Graham. Lily Handerek. Derek Nolan, Cum Laude. Timothy O'Donnell. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Regional Planning. 
David Nolan, cum laude. Samuel Epstein. Christopher Bennett. Samika Heathman. Seth Karn, cum laude. Megan Fontaine, cum laude. Connor Murphy. Amanda LaFrance, cum laude. Daniel Holbrook, cum laude. Alexa Ripko. Chelsea Puslin, magna cum laude. Maxwell Goldman, magna cum laude. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Education. Lauren Graham, summa cum laude. Letitia Scafioli, magna cum laude. Kelly Quinn. Faith Garbecki, cum laude. Sarah Balcom, summa cum laude. Brittany Conti. Alexandra Morse, magna cum laude. Brittany York. Gabriela Gabrielson. Amy Hodgman. Molly Dunn. Caitlin, Caitlin Widler. Gino Sierra. Caitlin Manning, cum laude. Timothy Kusoda. Megan Juckno, summa cum laude. Olive Goldman, magna cum laude. Madison Spillers, magna cum laude. Aaron Budley, magna cum laude. Lindsay Stolt. Casey Donamus, magna cum laude. Cameron Flynn, magna cum laude. Connor Sullivan. Daniel O'Brien, cum laude. Shannon Conley. Mark Mancus. Hannah Russell. Alyssa Balboni. Michelle Magzin. Rachel Trottier, cum laude. Kelly Ricca, magna cum laude. Carly Simonu. Christine O'Leary. Nelly Gonsalves Vasca. Alexandra Ratra, cum laude. Patricia Salomon, magna cum laude. Alisa Torres. Andrea Ternulo. Kathleen Cronin, cum laude. Jessica Hannon, summa cum laude. Anna Boshe, cum laude. Amberly Parker. Tyla Softmash, magna cum laude. Brianna Vivier, summa cum laude. Alexa Labapolos, magna cum laude. Jessica White. Brianna Sullivan. Devin Tui, magna cum laude. Sarah Mayet, summa cum laude. Jenna Lavalli, summa cum laude. Anne Stack, summa cum laude. Allison Arsenal. Jessica Young, summa cum laude. Victoria Long, cum laude. Valentina Shelsha, summa cum laude. Jessica Blanchard, cum laude. Caroline Donahue, magna cum laude. Cassandra Green, cum laude. Sydney Castagay, summa cum laude. Shannon Dudley, magna cum laude. Samantha Lee, summa cum laude. Megna Fu Ma Megan Fuller, cum laude. Alexandria Tarlock, magna cum laude. Jamaica Gilmore, cum laude. Michaela McCarthy, magna cum laude. Andrea Ramos. Abigail Demin, cum laude. Lauren McMahon. Ashley Gallant. Kelsey Cotton Jim, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Imlio, cum laude. Michaela Coburn, summa cum laude. Randy Lamanga, summa cum laude. Alyssa Cooper, magna cum laude. Silha Vaughn, cum laude. 
Kelly Smith, summa cum laude. Caroline Chizek, magna cum laude. Savannah Talbot, cum laude. Tiffany Marshall, magna cum laude. Nicole Bunnell, magna cum laude. Ashley DeLeon, magna cum laude. Emily Wallowitz, magna cum laude. Brendan O'Connor. Virginia Danio, cum laude. Kristen Boyle. Kimberly Ciancate. <laughs> Lauren McDonough. Ashley Rubel, cum laude. Kaylee McCallson, magna cum laude. Rebecca Finizio. Samantha Dillon, cum laude. Catherine Paiva, magna cum laude. Chelsea Rayscott. Julia Walls, summa cum laude. Ashley Capello, cum laude. Melanie Walsh Major, cum laude. Cassandra Bay, summa cum laude. Emily Reed. Courtney Connor, magna cum laude. Heather Jaguer. Michaela McCarthy. Kylie Trollin, magna cum laude. Brittany Murphy, cum laude. Michelle Reedy, cum laude. Taylor Rayat, magna cum laude. Ashley McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Kelly, cum laude. Danielle Bork, cum laude. Sarah Spear, magna cum laude. Melissa Lynchman, cum laude. Rachel Renville, cum laude. Michelle Bach. Danielle Watkins, summa cum laude. Alicia Foley, summa cum laude. Matthew Campagna, cum laude. Caitlin Kilgallen. Emily Hanrahan, magna cum laude. Callie Russo, cum laude. Rachel Rusco. Tegan McSweeney, magna cum laude. Catherine DePietro, magna, I'm sorry, cum laude. Caitlin Roy. Oh, okay. Good. Amanda Page, magna cum laude. Kristen Dooley, magna cum laude. Danielle Coveno, magna cum laude. Angela Erily, magna cum laude. Laura McIsaac, magna cum laude. Taylor Grihalva. Mark Eagles. No Lonnie? Okay. Now presenting graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Nolani Washington, cum laude. Haley Schuster. Mary Bridget O'Callaghan. Victoria Graham. Andrew Morin, cum laude. Julia Sullivan, cum laude. Erin Pratt. Renee Lapristi, cum laude. Courtney Green, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Corrigan, cum laude. Paige Sarkosta, magna cum laude. Catherine Sardinsky, magna cum laude. Tara Badrutwitz, summa cum laude. Patrick Brandt. Rebecca Simmons. Amanda Melanson. Leanna Giordano, cum laude. Marie De Rosso, cum laude. Elizabeth Labrie, magna cum laude. Timothy DeGrassi. Lucy Barry, 
Zeni Man. Now presenting the final degree of the evening. Oh! The graduates from my home department for a bachelor's in social work. Ryan Dermody, magna cum laude. Olivia Fels, cum laude. Brianna Massey. Kathleen Guerin, cum laude. Jason Kenny, cum laude. Emily Bradga, cum laude. Samantha Geislu, cum laude. Sabrina Sherez, magna cum laude. Casey Riley. Christine McCarthy. Margaret McDonald. Jamie Kaufman. April Keegan, cum laude. Tanasia Westbrooks. Christina Lopez Green, cum laude. Elizabeth Drew, cum laude. Emily Targic, summa cum laude. Leslie Connell, cum laude. Brittany Carr, cum laude. Alexandra Taro, cum laude. Samantha Lloyd, magna cum laude. Jennifer Floran, cum laude. Julia McBride, cum laude. Allison Gordon, summa cum laude. Nicole Twinning, cum laude. Eileen Cody, summa cum laude. Hannah Homan, summa cum laude. Kaya Price. Erica Vasquez, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Pickett. Jessica Rodriguez Tannen, magna cum laude. Joe Amy Lise Ramon, magna cum laude. Patricia Aguilar. Christina Gerard, magna cum laude. Brittany Marte, cum laude. Sophia Sams. And the final contestant of the evening, Nicholas Garrett, magna cum laude. Would all graduates please rise? To symbolize your transition from candidates to graduates, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2017 graduating class of Westfield State University. Please welcome to the stage Megan McGuire, class of 2017 to sing our alma mater.
Thank you, Megan. Please stand while we welcome Mother Stroud back to the stage to deliver the benediction. My sisters, my sisters and brothers, this ceremony has been long, but it is a great truth that life is short and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who make this earthly pilgrimage with us. So be swift to love, make haste to do kindness, shower abundant hospitality on friend and stranger, walk in justice, that you may follow the path of mercy and love. And the blessing of God, who showers us with love and knowledge, who stands with us in struggle and sorrow, and also on this day of great joy, and who guides us into wholeness and holiness of life, be upon you and all those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. We are not done yet. I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge the work and the leadership of Dr. Moroda. Dr. Moroda has served as our interim vice president for academic affairs for three years, and she'll be returning to the faculty. Dr. Moroda, we are indebted to you. Thank you very much. Now, graduates, nothing speaks louder than the legacy of an institution than its alumni. Looking at all of you today, I would say that our legacy is excellent indeed. In the awards of Westfield State alumnus, Justin Colony, class of 2016, he said, and I quote, graduates, it is time for you to do as owls do and fly. Just remember where your nest is. Congratulations to Westfield State class of 2016, 2017. Graduates, please, please remain in, in place, keeping the aisles clear until the platform party and faculty have recessed. The 178th commencement exercises of Westfield State University are now complete. <laughs> <laughs>